Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you another Take Two movie review. And as you guys know, the King has been tackling all the DCEU films in the series. And I have reached almost the final four. The Breaking Point. This is the Breaking Point movie that things started to crash and burn. And unfortunately, one of the greatest world's entertainer on the face of this planet was involved in this monstrosity, according to some people. To me, didn't mind it too much. I think it was just an eh kind of movie. But anyways, what the hell is the King talking about? The King's talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Black Adam film. Yeah, this is where a lot of people just, I don't know, maybe just wanted to hate to hate The Rock. It wasn't exactly what people wanted, and they just shit on it, plain and simple. Me, first time I watched it, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was the greatest thing I've seen, but... It wasn't the you know the worst either. So, like always, you know how this works. It's spoiler filled. So if you haven't seen it, don't watch this video. If you have, enjoy. Sit back, enjoy as the king rewatches it for the second time, and gives you his thoughts. So you guys know I'm going to be watching up to the halfway point of the film. Come back, watch the second, and give you my final thoughts. So buckle up. Here we go. All right, guys, the king is back. He just finished watching the first half of this film. And, yeah, I like the intro with the whole Egyptian mythology part and how he was betrayed and all this stuff and how they were looking for this precious metal that's only found in that particular city that they're from. And then it kind of loses you a little bit. It goes to modern day. You got a whole bunch of people looking for him. They discover him. And when they do discover him, they release him. And holy shit. That first 10 or 12 minutes with The Rock going all out on whoever wants to get him is phenomenal. It shows you why he is one SOB not to mess around with. It was pretty cool. Loved it. And then, of course, this is where people kind of like, oh, rolled their eyes. You introduce this, I guess, professor and her kid who's a little bit of a troublemaker. They get involved into the storyline. And then, of course, it's just one of those things that... The Rock confronts him earlier. He's with them in their apartment. He's trying to show them the ways there. So it's shit that we've already seen before. You know, a little Superman gag that he burns on the wall and all this shit. And, you know, he's trying to look out his city. doesn't recognize what he sees. And then you get the introduction to Amanda Waller bringing in her own new team, apparently, to stop the Black Adam and put him down. And you got Hawk, Hawkman, which was okay. He looked pretty cool. He looks pretty decent, okay? Dr. Fate is my favorite. Uh, Pierce Brosnan plays him, and damn, he looks like a cooler Dr. Strange. And then, of course, you got the Atom Smasher, and then it's the other girl who shrinks or whatever the hell she does. I don't even know exactly what she does, but whatever, right? So half the team is good, half the team is bad. If it was just Hawkman and and uh, Dr. Fate, would have been probably a better film up to this point, but... They confront Black Adam, he takes him down, and then at the end of the whole scrap, they decide to be all friends, and they have one goal to kind of, like, protect the place and to get back was one thing. And I left it off where they're after the bad guys, the real bad guys who was working with the professor, are after the kid for this one relic. So they can use and unleash pretty much hell, okay? So that's where I left it off. So I want to see how much more it goes down. But up to this point... I'm okay with what I watched. I love the introduction of a couple of the characters from the new team. Justice Society. Dr. Fate and, uh, of course, Hawkman. And uh, the introduction of the Rock, Black Adam, just wrecking house. That was pretty cool. Let's see if this thing goes off the rails and how I feel when I get back here in a couple of seconds. All right, guys. Finished watching the second half right up to the end to the post credit and whatever. It was okay, man. Like, it was your typical uh, superhero or anti-superhero film. He decides he's going to be put away, say the word, so he can just turn back to normal. We find a little bit more history that it was his son who is really the hero, and that's why he didn't feel like the hero that sacrificed himself to save his life. That's The Rock's life. And that's how he became Black Adam. So he decides, you know, he's going to say the words, get taken by Amanda Waller, puts underneath the prison water there to keep him from escaping and shit. And covering his mouth so he can't say the word so he can get the powers back. You got the rest of the team headed off to stop the guy that he couldn't stop before. They're planning there. They, he resurrects this red devil looking thing that he is. And he wrecks shop. 
You got everybody fighting. They're getting their asses pretty much kicked, right, guys? And you have Dr. Fate keeps them back, gives them time. See what the hell they're going to do. So he can go one-on-one -on -one with them, and he ends up losing his life too bad, right? He was probably one of the best parts, so only the helmet gets left over. And then, of course, the rock. Black Adam says, you know what? Fine, he can see his son. Tell him, you know what? Do it. So he goes ahead. So he goes to escape. Looks like he's drowning. Remembers his kid. Says the words and bang, he's back as Black Adam. Shows up, wreck shop, takes out this idiot there with the help of the other guys. Cool battle scenes, don't get me wrong, right? It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Beats him up, sits on the throne. He's the new guy in charge. And of course, post credit scenes, you had Amanda Waller sending one person to go talk to him because he's ruining over his own little area that he's not going to, he doesn't care about the rest of the world, but he wants it. And who shows up? Henry Cavill Superman and that was the biggest slap and the biggest disappointment because why bring him back if you ain't gonna use him moving forward like in Shazam for God's sakes anyways that's another issue and another thing too of course Shazam 2 comes out right after this and of course Rock didn't want to have to do anything that and all this political behind this mumble jumble shit that we don't know about but whatever it is what it is I enjoyed the film I was expecting a little bit more but you know what I liked it overall I don't know people didn't like it for some reason you guys tell the king what you like, didn't like about it. Did you watch it the second time with the king? I feel about the same level. I don't feel anything more, you know, like I enjoyed it more or less. I think it is what it is. It's in the middle of the DCU films, closer to the bottom, more than the top. So there you go. That is my official Black Adam DCU Take Two movie review. Hope you guys like it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other DCU take two reviews right here on our channel and all this other fun stuff there's three more films left so tune in for the next one to drop same day today what is that one going to be shazam fury of the gods take it easy be held good stay off the king's throne